everybody, JC here from Toy News International. And today I'm throwing up this video. This is actually, by the time you're watching this, the first day of Comic Con is going to have come and gone, preview night. And so I just wanted to give you kind of a recap of the information that came out from preview night and just go over a few things. Now, um, I may get a, another video up later today. Um, I don't know. Um, a little bit depends on timing and stuff, but I, I may try. Because we, we have, um, we're definitely going to get some more Marvel Legends reveals today. Hasbro is going to be holding an event, a media event, where they're going to show off new product. And I talked to Dwight Stahl uh, during preview night, and he told me that basically they were going to have some pretty cool stuff to show at this event. So if I can, I'll try and get another video, but definitely we'll have coverage up immediately on Marvelous News. And that starts at 8 a.m. Pacific time. So, and should have you know, once that starts, should be able to get coverage up pretty soon after that. So keep it to Marvelous News for that. But I wanted to go over a few things, and I wanted to start with DC Collectibles. So they announced a brand new line called DC Essentials. This is, they didn't specifically say this, but the impression they left me is that this is basically the line that's going to be replacing the DC icons. And so they didn't specifically say icons was done 100%, but essentially they want to see how this line is pre received by everybody, including both the consumer and the retailers. And then they'll decide, you know, going forward what they're going to do with like icons. But basically this is a, a 6.75 inch or, you you know, I basically am just going to round up and say 7 inch scale line. It is said to have pretty good articulation, more on par with icons than say the old uh, New 52 7 inch figures that, that they did. So it is supposed to be on, more on par with that. Now it's called essentials basically because these are going to have very little in the way of accessories. Now the the figures that were on display at this uh, media event that, that they held here at Comic Con, those are not actually going to be included with the figures or most likely not they said and these figures they're actually still kind of tweaking them and stuff as far as articulation and stuff goes so you know we could see some changes I don't know but essentially the idea here is that these figures are going to cost about $25, $26 so they're going to be a bit cheaper than the $28 figures that we're seeing with icons and again they're going to be more of an essential figure more it's more about the figure than it is like excess tons of accessories and things like that that we're ending up getting cut anyway from like the icons and, and so forth. So I don't know. I mean, I, I do think these figures look good. I, I definitely impressed with how these figures look, but you know, now we're kind of going to have to start over again. I don't necessarily mind the, the larger scale. I mean, I do have a lot of the new 52 figures that, that I guess this is going to fit in with as far as scale wise. But, you know, if you're a six inch collector or you've been collecting the icons, it, it's definitely a little disappointing, I think, that, that they're, they're kind of looks like they're basically going to be ending that line. Now, keep in mind, the figures that we saw at Toy Fair and stuff, the, the two pack and the Doomsday and stuff, those are still coming. So, you know, if you, you were hoping to get those, then, then you should still be able to get those and and you know maybe they will continue down the road I, I don't know like I said I think a lot's gonna depend on how the essentials do maybe how these uh, remaining icons do and so on and so forth now and other things that they showed um, for the Batman the animated series they had a new Harley Quinn expression pack so we saw the Batman figure which is actually already out that's the one with all the multiple heads and capes and stuff and then they've got Joker coming which they had here at San Diego so we got to look at the accessories a closer look at that for Joker and now they're going to do a third one Harley Quinn and again it has all the accessories and different face sculpts and, and such so if you're a Harley Quinn fan and, and, and such you'll probably like that and then they also debuted essentially the large vehicle for 2018 this year we're getting the Batcave which comes out at the end of this year but then they're going to also do next year which should be released around May they said the Joker Mobile which apparently I don't actually remember this but but apparently did appear in one episode of the Batman the animated series so it is episode specific I, I don't remember what episode they didn't say and, and and again I don't necessarily remember it but but I I'm sure it did show up in in there and it's pretty cool it's got lights on you know the headlights light up and everything so yeah it's kind of cool it's gonna be about a hundred bucks they said that's what they're shooting for is it to cost about a hundred bucks and again that's essentially going to be the large 
vehicle. Now, I, I pressed them a little bit. On you know, I noticed there were no other figures for the animated series. No Superman. No Batman Beyond. No Justice League. And basically, what I was told, you know, as far as like Superman, they're waiting to see how the two pack does before they decide what they're going to do. If they're going to do any more Superman. Now, I asked also specifically about Justice League, and basically they wouldn't comment. They just kind of gave me a look. So I don't know. It's kind of like. Mm. You know, it's the kind of look I got. So it could be something they're still considering Justice League. I, I don't know. Again, you know, they didn't flat out say no, we're not doing Justice League. So it may be they're going to kind of just kind of bypass pretty much Superman going forward and, and do Justice League. I, I don't know. It seems like Justice League would have more potential and more appeal to retailers and consumers than, than just Superman. But again, I, I don't know for sure. So, you know, we'll, we'll probably hear more on that maybe in February or even maybe in October at New York Comic Con or February for Toy Fair. So not much else in the way of action figures. They did have a few bombshells, new bombshell figures. So if you're into that line, we weren't allowed to take pictures, but they've got a two-pack, a Bombshells Designer Series two-pack featuring Joker and Nurse Harley. So th that looked pretty cool. A um, bunch of new statues and stuff. So if you're into statues, you'll probably um, be pretty happy as well. Okay, switching fronts to Mattel. So Mattel didn't have too much on hand for DC Multiverse, just the Justice League movie figures. And they did have a few new ones that we hadn't seen before. So the Core Wave, which is actually starting to hit now, and we've talked about previously, that's the uh, wave that includes Cyborg, Flash, Aquaman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and Tactical Suit Batman with the goggles. But then there's going to be several other figures released that are going to be store exclusives. Now, um, the, the gentleman from Mattel that I was talking to about this, he couldn't remember exactly which figure was being released at which store, but he said basically these should show up at Amazon, Target, Walmart, and I believe Toys R Us. So, um, but again, I don't know which one is which. But the exclusives are going to be the regular Batman figure. That that one's going to be an exclusive. A Parademon figure, which actually looks pretty cool. Uh, it's probably the most impressive looking figure of the bunch. So that's going to be a store exclusive. And then we're getting a second Aquaman without the shirt. And then Mara um, is going to be a store exclusive as well. They also had basic figures on hand. So those are, you know, six inch, but, you know, less detail and everything. So a couple new figures there, two uh, versions of the Parademon, and then a big vehicle, some walker thing that apparently is going to be in the movie. They're doing a vehicle love. Uh, not much else from Mattel uh, during preview night. Um, they will be having their WWE panel today, so I expect some reveals. Okay, so flipping uh, to Hasbro and, and Marvel Legends. So there really wasn't a whole lot of Marvel Legends uh, new stuff debuted at, at preview night. Pretty much everything we'd seen, and, and most of which is starting to hit shelves now. That Human Torch Walgreens exclusive figure, that actually should start be hitting any day now. So you might start seeing it on shelves already. Um, they did have a new store exclusive, this um, Deadpool slash Venom figure, uh, Deadpool with the symbiote suit or Venomized Deadpool, whatever you want to call him. And that is going to be a GameStop exclusive. I don't have a release date, but that will, uh, Dwight Stahl told me that figure will be exclusive to GameStop. And that was really the only new Marvel Legend that they had on hand for preview night. Now again, they've got the media event coming up this morning. And so uh, definitely today we're going to see some new Marvel Legends. And then again, I don't know if they'll sometimes they put maybe one or two things out on Friday as well but then Saturday is when their Hasbro Marvel Legend panel is and that's where they'll do the bulk of their reveals now they said there should be a pretty impressive uh, number of reveals this weekend but they also indicated that because of all the different conventions where they're going to have a presence and, and show new stuff they're kind of ha also having to break stuff up a little bit between all the different conventions so just you know if you want to mark on your calendar calendar uh, events that you can expect some kind of Marvel Legends news to come out of. We've got this weekend with San Diego Comic Con and then we've got HasCon coming up in September so they're going to be revealing some new stuff there. And then we've got New York Comic Con where they don't really have an actual presence at Comic Con but they always hold this pre-media event at Comic Con and so they'll have some reveals there. And then Dwight told me that they will also have maybe 
one or two reveals at the Canadian Expo convention and then also for the very first time the London uh, convention I think it's called MCM uh, London Comic Con so they're gonna have some kind of presence there now with both the Canadian convention and the London convention I don't expect that like Hasbro's design team members are gonna make the trip out there but you know somewhere there'll be some Hasbro products set up where you can see the stuff in hand um, a lot of the stuff will be stuff that we've already seen but again they have said there will be a, you know one or two reveals at those conventions so a lot of different events this year where they're gonna be showing off new stuff so they're kind of having to break it up a little bit so I guess that means a little bit less that's gonna be debuted here but over the course of the year there will definitely be uh, more stuff coming but again they told me that even with that there should be a number of cool things that they're gonna be showing off this weekend um, otherwise as far as Marvel Legends go they really didn't show anything really didn't have much in the way of new of anything for their brands so the transformer panel is is uh, today slash Thursday so that's where I expect some transformer reveals to be made and then Friday is the Star Wars panel so there'll be Star Wars reveals there I wouldn't expect a whole lot to be honest because they really aren't I don't think are able to show a lot of the last Jedi stuff they kind of have to hold that back for force Friday in September that's at least the pattern at the last couple couple years um, so I, I don't know how much new stuff for Star Wars they're gonna have um, we'll have to wait and see on Friday and then Saturday as I said is the Marvel panel okay so um other things that were kind of news and noteworthy, Diamond Select Toys had their uh, Thor Ragnarok Marvel Select 7-inch figures on hand, the Thor and Hulk figures, so we got our first look at those. Those look pretty cool. They also had their Ghostbuster 2 figures, if you're a Ghostbusters fan, so they had that. NECA had some Aliens vs. Predator stuff, but pretty much... Um, at least for preview night was mostly stuff that we'd seen now I talked to Randy Falk briefly and he did tell me that they are going to have some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle reveals uh, for today later today so if you're a turtle fan for, from NECA then you'll want to check that be sure to check back to the sites later today and uh, we should have some reveals for that Mezco really didn't have you know yesterday they announced they're doing Thor Ragnarok 112 scale figures and Catwoman and Batman B on so they had those figures on display and that was pretty much it as far as new from, from them um, everything else that they had on display including like the Iron Man figure we would previously seen Tomasi Nations they had some new Street Fighter figures now I apologize I wasn't able to get good images for them they have a new Akuma figure coming um, basically they had it off in a, in a case in the corner and they were trying to set something else up so I wasn't able to get in there good and get a good image so I'll try and get better images of those uh, later today and up on the site. They also um, had some new Justice League movie SH figure arts so we'd previously seen the Batman figure but they also have Wonder Woman and Flash so that was pretty cool and then Mediacom Mayfex had some uh, movie figures as well Justice League movie figures as well so Superman and Cyborg and Flash and Wonder Woman and so um, those were pretty you know cool as well so you know even though DC Collectibles isn't doing movie figures there's definitely a number of companies who are doing Justice League movie figures this year so you should definitely be able to get some some good ones. Tomasi Nations also had uh, their uh, Spider-Man Homecoming figures we'd seen seen these the regular tech suit Spider-Man and then the homemade Spider-Man suit a new MAGA realization figure with Captain America. I can't remember if we'd seen that before or not, but they had that on hand. And then Hot Toys had a few, you know, really everything we'd seen already, Guardians of the Galaxy. They did have the Yondu figure that they had teased. I, I don't think they had their Thor figures out last night, so um, at least I didn't see it. I'll, I'll have to double check and see if they had the, you know, they teased the Thor Ragnarok, so they may get that out. Uh, Storm Collectibles, they uh, had really nothing much in the way of Street Fighter Five just some variant figures um, of ones that we had already previously seen but they did have some prototypes for new Mortal Kombat figures so um, if you're a Mortal Kombat figure it looks like they've got a lot now I, uh, they had this big dragon looking thing with the Mortal Kombat figures I, I apologize I, I don't recognize it I, I don't know what it's in reference to but definitely looks like an interesting figure so I, I think that wraps it up uh, for the main highlights of uh, pre 
preview night. Um, again, definitely check back to Marvelous News and, and other sites. At this media event Hasbro's having, you know, definitely um, I was told there'll be some Marvel Legend reveals there. I'm assuming we might see some Star Wars and Transformers as well, so you'll want to check, you know, T-Formers and Jedi Insider for those. Um, but definitely Marvelous News for, for the Marvel Legend reveals. And I will also, you know, if I have time, you know, maybe try and get another update video. Um, basically expect these kind of update videos throughout the week I'll try and get them up as much as I can most likely will be in the mornings to kind of recap from the previous day like this one and 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 you know let me know what you guys think about everything that you've been seeing um, I love to hear your comments I may not get to read them until later um, you know because we're running around so much but definitely let me know like the video if you're so inclined please subscribe to the channel of course and also follow me on my Facebook Twitter and Instagram accounts I upload and 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 make Make updates sometimes like on my Facebook page and such so you know like I said hope you guys are enjoying the coverage and until next time guys I will catch you later